We share a lot of things in common between Sierra Leone and uh, but most significantly we share a, a very terrible history of war. For me, all this has been moments of pain, of joy, of feeling like giving something to the society. Yeah. And I can I could remember the, the pains we sh you know there was even with, with the victims, with those of us who listened. Kenya sits at a place that uh, is uh, difficult in terms of uh, uh, security, um, uh, peace and, and development generally. But in Kenya, we were dealing with a criminal clique that was using government, violating uh, people's rights, uh, undertaking massacres, uh, torture and uh, you know gross human rights violations against the law. The, this was against the law. It was uh, uh, actually uh, against the law. It was using state agencies to uh, violate people's rights. So it, it was a massive difference between what was in South Africa and, and what was happening in Kenya. Uh, and and we, we discovered that dealing with the past helps people to move forward. Uh, in, in, a, in, a better, in a better manner. And, and, and what has seized me, what has seized me with the, uh, the transition justice agenda is the beauty of uh, giving people power to forgive themselves, mm -hmm. recover their truth, and build a common future of, of, of accountability, uh, peace and justice, you know, without, without being chosen for what is good for what is good for them. My story with the transitional justice started before I even knew the name for it. Um, when I was very, very young, my gogo once told me a story about why she was an orphan. Um, and it was that when she was, when she was young, her parents were killed and she survived by hiding in the rafters of their hut and the rest of her family was, was massacred. It was a story that actually took place close to where I live uh, when I was young. Um, in the 80s and it was the story of Kukuru Hundi, um, an ethnic cleansing experience that happened in Zimbabwe during the 1980s by the government of the day as they tried to create a one-party state but the thing about the story is that it was completely silent no one ever spoke about it and this was the first we ever heard about it I think the biggest surprise for me came that um, that we no one ever spoke about it it was not discussed and yet almost 20,000 Ndebele people were killed during this period. And from here I now find myself linked to the, the African Transitional Justice Network, and that is a great opening, something that seeks to link voices across the continent, telling their stories, emerging ideas, and, and indigenous perspectives on what transitional justice can mean on this continent. So it's an exciting doorway to be in. People were living in camps. Like at some point people could not live in there in their homes because the violence was too much. Rebels could come and attack villages, cut off people's hands, noses, ears. They were raping people. So it was so brutal. So with this national uh, reconciliation process that we are advocating for, it's like part of it is supposed to be a reparations program. I mean, so what are you going to give to that person? What does justice mean to that person? So there are all these questions that are coming up. So that is what we are trying to grapple with. How do we move forward? So you're moving from apartheid to democracy, but we have an area which has been in conflict for many years, and now they're experiencing peace. So during the conflict, structures were destroyed. People were murdered. People were abducted. You have so child soldiers coming back home. Like, I mean, they were forced to go and fight, but now they're coming back home. How do you integrate them in the communities? Some of them participated in killings. How are they, how are, how are they going to live with the families of those people they killed? So it's all the things that are happening. But in terms of where my story of where the network is going, I think for me, I feel so happy and blessed to be a part of this network and to share you know, the good things and the, the values and the idea, the knowledge that this network brings with it. I have really learned a lot 